It is a women's strawweight matchup between Yoana Yeonjacek and Rose Namajunas. Well, if looks could kill DC, here is Thug Rose Namajunas, the former UFC strawweight champion and still one of the best, if not the best, 115-pound fighter in the world. When you watch Nami Yunus and she looks at her opponents, it's stone cold. She's looking right through them. You see her opponents try to engage her in trash talk to try to break the psyche of Nami Yunus. And she just looks it down, stares right through it and says, you know what, on tomorrow, I get to show you with my fists, my knees and my feet. And when she's fighting, she's one of the best fighters this division's ever seen. And we saw that the night she knocked out Joanna and Jacek right. in the very first round. You ain't winning a staring contest with no. Thug Rose Nami Yunus, and you're probably not winning a cage fight against her either. <laughs> Nami Yunus is back for more here tonight. Well, she is still the most dominant UFC strawweight of all time. Yoani Yan Jacek flirted with the flyweight waters, now back to 115 pounds. Truly a special striker with one of the best jabs in MMA. It's so fast and it's so effective. She can almost neutralize her opponents with something as simple as a jab. But what makes Joanna and Jacek stand out from the others is that when you try to attempt a takedown, she makes you pay for it. She will beat you up with elbows as you try to back out of danger to get back to striking range, which is exactly where she wants you. Has massive star appeal, but also has the fighting skill to back it up. She's confident, she's composed, she's conditioned, and Joanna and Jacek is back on the proving ground here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Nama Yunus is 28. Yeon Jacek is 32. The rest of the numbers are close. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins, 4 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Fog Rose Nalayuna! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 4 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Austin, Poland, Joanna Yachesha! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Because we know how the first fight between these two finished, and it ended with me saying exactly that. Can you do it? The Rose, oh not God, as well. Yeah, yeah. But for Yolanda Young Jacek, she wanted this rematch, this third meeting, so badly because she still believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that she's better than Rose. Now. She thinks she's the best fighter in this division, the best strawweight in the world, and no matter how many times she gets beat, that thought will never change. Punch over the top. Nice stick with the right hand. Nice one-two there. Lunges forward with a left there.
sniff that one out as she blocks the kick. Effective punch there by Yeon Jaichek. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Catches the kick there, we'll see what she can do with it. Big kick. <laughs> Left hand punch from the clinch. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Ioana Yeon Jaichek. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Nice. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Right under the elbow. The body kick nice counter shot there. Oh, that's a hell of a kick by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now, champ. Great job landing that kick. about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. There's no tell on that leg kick. Let's pull that head now. Big kick, man. Oh, she countered her there with a beautiful straight right hand. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Able to check the high kick. Clinch. Nice punch there. Again, back into this position. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Yeon Jaichek. Superman punch now. Watch knees to the body. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Nice kick. All right, so once again, the fighter's in game. Oh, big knee! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Ooh, not sure if she stunned her per se, but that head kick landed. She does not expect an opponent to take a head kick as cleanly as the one she just landed. What a punch. And they separate. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Talk us through the knockdown, if you would. I mean, she was able to get to her spot. She was able to find the sweet spot, land that strike that put her opponent on her butt. Next time she lands that, the fight will be over. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen. You can do this now. I want you to go down and put your comedy. All right, just like that, round two is upon us. Yoana Yeon Jacek. And on the other side, Thug Rose Namayunas. Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. 
That's a nice one-two there from Rose Namajunas, all set up by that brilliant footwork, great fundamentals. I mean, fundamentals at its best. Rose Namajunas just defines that. I mean, she's never where you expect her to be. She's never just standing still. She's constantly moving and always seems to be a step ahead of her competition. Oh, strong punch there by Namajunas. Nice jab, counter for her there. Liver kick. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt to take down? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Look at the turtle in that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Real sneaky body kick. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. So 64 total strikes have now landed for Rose Namajunas. Just below 50% now landing with 47% accuracy against Joanna Jacek. Oh, that's an outstanding attempt with the kick there. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. So fast to the target. What a great job. Well, she ain't cocky, but she is confident, and why not? Big knockdown in the previous round. She appears to have the striking advantage. She's doing everything right. That's what led her to getting that knockdown to finish early in round. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Leg kick. And they separate. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh! Nice right hand there from Yolanda Young. Jay check. She's got that look in her eye tonight. That'll scare a lot of men, never mind women. I mean, the boogie woman, right? Doesn't she call you. herself the boogie woman? She's the boogie woman that's coming for you. And you see that she's back in that state that allowed her to become the longest reigning strawweight champion in UFC history. Just unable to quite find that range. Big punch from the clinch. Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo here. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. Now, the Eunice's lower jaw does not look good. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Man, high volume of strikes in this round as she continues to land and pour it on. It's amazing that she has been able to maintain this aggression with her striking throughout this fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, huge kick to the body. So far. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round of the punch. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, we are going forward. 
because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. We thought the fight was done, but we moved forward because her opponent is so tough, but she's so skilled that she can't get there again. strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement? from this 50-50 position. Nice stick and move there by Ioana Yeo Jacek. She's worked hard to shore some things up defensively, and she is certainly in a good striking group here tonight. One of the most important... Wow! She is such a diverse striker. That guy gets strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish the fight. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely. Trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard. So get the half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground showing no signs of slowing down. 102 total strikes have now landed for Ioana Yonjicic. And connecting with 48% accuracy against Rose Namajunas. Oh man, I hate to laugh, but she lands another kick there, and now you're really starting to see that visible damage on the other side. When you start seeing the redness in the leg, that means that every time she is driving that baseball bat right into the thigh where she wants it to land, and now her opponent is limping, her opponent's wounded, her opponent's injured, and now watch the target be way more stationary. Beautiful body kick. Elbow to the head there by Yolanda Yonjacek. Pretty good knee to the body by Nama Yus. Yonjacek gets caught with that punch. Hey, they kid. continue to exchange. Again, back into this position. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch. She has it here. She secured the tie clinch. Now she's going to start to elbow and knee to try to put damage on her opponent. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. Oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Jajcek gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. And she counters with a left hand. Nice knee to the body for her there. Very nice. Yeon Jajcek's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Nice strike. Oh, she blocks the punch. Oh, beautifully played. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to dash. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! And kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Big oh. kick. Oh, she might be in trouble now. Huge diving punch to the head. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's
is going to finish the fight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Yeon Jai checks in half throw. Nama Yunus is trying for a Kimura here. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the sufficient attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. More of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp. Don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at. You ready? You ready? Fight. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. No! Oh, bad hands. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Rose Nama Yunus. for her now, so not a lot of fighters will go to this type of guard, and I would think that could pose some problems here for her. It would pose some problems because most people are not used to it. So what she needs to... Nama Yunus is looking to lock up an arm bar here. Attack an arm bar. Oh, she slams into the ground and with authority right there. So that's certainly one way to fend off the arm bar, lift your opponent up, and slam her to the ground. Well done. Obvious redness now on the left side of her body, courtesy of those body kicks. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Rose Nama Yunus. Yo, Jajek's pass is denied. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nama Yunus. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, Sage works from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Break that off! Back to the feet now. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Yeon Jaichek. Let's go. Keep pushing. Superman punch lands. And they separate. Oh, man. That looked like a nice kick by her there. It absolutely did hurt. I can tell you that as a fact. Well, you got to think at this stage of things, there is a wide margin on the judges' scorecard. She has landed a ton of significant strikes in what is her best performance today. This is the best we've ever seen her look. She did a great job of fighting at her pace Dictated control in all of the exchanges, and she landed punches in bunches. Beautiful strike. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett.